Hello everybody, Frankie Day here at YouTube. Okay guys, uh, this is my final reveal for Brian's the Atomic Dogs 48 hour community group build. Uh, right now at my shift's clock I got 1950 hours, about 10 minutes to the deadline, so I guess I'm the first. Anyway guys, this was not easy. It was not easy building a model of this type of nature in 48 hours. This is the first time in my career, in my whole life building models, I built a model. I have it looking pretty well decent in 48 hours. This thing kicked my, my rump. It knocked me out. I'm about ready to retire and watch a little TV at this video and uh, ponder on the next build I'll be doing next. Okay guys, uh, this airplane, the, the kit is 100% done with the exception of the rigging. I, I felt like I didn't have enough time to get the rigging done on it. Uh, at, its, at its peak, it's, it's optional, but if I was going to put it on the judging table, I'll put rigging on it. And uh, maybe perhaps someday I got nothing to do. I may go back and uh, finish up the rigging on it and make another post uh, 40 yard community group build uh, entry right there and get it uh, showed over again. Okay guys, this is rambling. And uh, anyway, this was a fun build. I enjoyed it. I'd like to thank Brian out there for hosting his group build. And it's something to do with 48 hours. And I, I got my 48 hours done. And, and uh, believe you me, it was a... Uh, it was an ordeal to behold. Okay, guys, we're going to take the camera, we're going to swing around and take a look at the, the Gremlin F3 F line beer barrel and uh, discuss the nature of it and uh, how much is done. And, and uh, she's complete, as you can see right there, pretty well focused in the camera. I can zoom in a tad a little bit more. There you go. And we'll spin it on the uh, Lazy Susan here. I chose to go ahead and make, make the Navy version, fellas. This was out, out of San Diego. This is a, this is a, a, a shore-based uh, F3F flying beer barrel. It was done pretty much in a movie called Dive Bomber with Earl Flynn, Fred McMurray. And uh, you see these old flicks back in the 1940s. It has this uh, here hi-hat F3F flying beer barrel in the movie, the same color schedules on this model here. The flying beer barrel came out in exactly 1936 and by 19, uh, as late as 1941 they were actually stricken from the United States Navy and weren't used no more and uh, she was the successor to the FF1 Goblin and uh, the F3F series started from there from 1 to 2 to 3 variants up to this right here. And uh, I got a pilot right there, 132nd scale pilot. I've had that boy for about 50 years. He's an oldie but goodie. I always kept him in my collection, and his uniform started to get a little ragged a little bit, and he might need a new paint job pretty soon. This is a wonderful build, guys. I really enjoyed building this model. This is one of the, the classic workings of Monogram during its day. It was very popular, and it was pretty much in demand at the time. Now the old bird is kind of fading away into the dust and other ones are superseding it. But it's good to have something classic, fellas, you know. I'm more or less drawn to classic model kits than the new ones got nowadays because I guess because of my age, I imagine, but they're all good, guys. They're all good. Okay, guys, uh, the color schedule on this is chrome yellow top course on the wings. It's natural, uh, it's, it's um, metalized al aluminum on the alloy and the and dopes, and also the dope covered surfaces, which is a ton of, uh, ton of black on top of the, uh, the silver, which gives it a dope, that, dope effect, opposed to the fuselage color. Tail feathers are blue. And uh, this is a shore based F3F. Uh, Peller spins. And uh, before, before I end the video here, we'll uh, give a demonstration of the workings of the tractable landing gear 
of the great F3F biplane fighter. Okay, guys, let me get uh, my little buddy out of the way so he won't cause any harm. I'll gingerly pick this bad boy up right by the uh, As the gate pops engage, you can see Lanigan go inside the fuselage. See how it goes, fellas? It's, it comes down. Take 29 cranks, get it up into the well. Once it's up, it snaps in and back down. Push the propeller. Free to spin. Set her down. Well, there are locker wheels up again. And we'll put the pilot next, next to him and be like it never happened. There you go, fellas. We'll take a little waltz around with the F3F right here. That was the most unique uh, feature of this airplane is, is retracting the landing gear and like that. That's actually this thing retracts inside the fuse size as precisely as the new one, as the old, as the original machine does. And. They didn't have hydraulics system back in the days. It was all chain drive by hand crank. Now they it's all hydraulics. Okay, fellas, we'll take a video and they'll swing it over to me and finish up the video, fellas. There it is. Okay, guys, that completes the final reveal of my entry for Atomic Dogs Father's Day Community 48-Hour Group Build. And I'm very anxious to see everybody else's work to see how they done. And uh, so I guess the videos will be coming in by now. And uh, so I got my end done, folks, and I'm very happy with this here. It, uh, it looks pretty good out of the box. I'm very deeply sorry I didn't have the rigging done on it, fellas. I didn't have enough time. Ran out of time. It, it wasn't easy building this airplane with, with the abundance of colors that's on this thing. And uh, an ancient model like this is a good four or five day model. But 48 hours is a long time. I put a lot of hours into it, so it kicked my uh, it kicked my cooler, and I'm ready to. Uh, Get on the YouTube a bit and do some surfing and watch little movies here and there and check your guys' bills as they come up. And uh, that'd be that. Okay, fellas, on the next video, I'm not quite certain what it's going to be. It's going to be something. I'm always thinking all the time. And uh, so, I might probably go to the stash pile and grab something. I was thinking about building a 124 scale uh, Fook with 190 airfix kit that I had a while ago. And uh, that'll keep me busy, or one of them will keep me busy. I may work on that Mustang. I don't know. It's hard to say what I'll do. Where it's going to be, it's going to be what it is, what it is. That's all I can say. But that'll be next video, probably a couple days after the video of, of, uh, of what's going on, fellas, of the entry of it and everything. And i got to start catching up with some of these builds I, I had started a while back and think they need to be done. So that'll be that. Okay, guys, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. May God bless, and thank you very much for your wonderful comments, and uh, happy modeling, and please subscribe. Make Mama happy, and uh, happy modeling, and we'll guys catch you in the next video. This is Frankie Day, signing off. Bye, boys.